Last time you've seen how we began mounting the front end loader on LiveTrack, our open source tractor. This time we complete the loader mounting and begin testing the compressed earth block press. We also document the making of our first complete solar panels. Finally, we shook the cobwebs off the CB press and got it out back for action. Doing some liner stiffening here. Here are the screw holes reinforcing the liner so that it holds up. Height level indicator in place. Here are some details. Now we've got the two and a half inch tubing as the support. More stiff support for for the hopper cylinder. We're going to install the pressure gauge in one of the lines going to the CEB press. Measure pressures on the tractor fluids. With the hydraulic pressure gauge, that's what it's for. Alright, we checked the pressure coming from the hydraulic line on the tractor going to the press and at first it was ridiculous, like 3500 PSI stalling the tractor and just way too much for pressing bricks. So we adjusted it on the uh, flow valve at the press and got it down to optimum pressure of about 21-2200 PSI. We rototilled here and scooped out soil with a heavy hose. This is what we used. Connecting the hydraulics to the press. All right, here's the Robert loading the hopper on the CEB. He's about to sow some seeds of love. I can feel it. Look at him go. Soil and the hopper. Hopper full of dirt. Hydraulic line hooked up. Run down, do the CB press, controls. Holy cow! Can't see it, but there's a brick there. Whoa! Shadows. Gonna... Oh! Oh yeah! Check it. It. Hell yeah! Yeah! That's a brick! How do you feel now, Martin? Great, let's see what more. How do you feel? Hell yeah! Get a little nudge, there you go. Getting there. Getting Be there. Better soil, a little moisture, a let's bit of clay. See. Drop Prep. test, two, three, go. That's not bad. Looks a little rough. Here's the good part. With the hopper and cylinder motion that we've seen, it looks like we'll be able to produce six to eight bricks per minute. Almost double the three to five that we were hoping for earlier. The next step is a rototiller for a life track so that we can prepare large quantities of soil. Now we move on to the solar panels. Mm. Stack of a hundred solar cells. This is the process of stringing cells together on a form. 
connecting individual cells. Here we have a flux pan. So it's just cleaning. Cleaning the back surface contact of the solar cell. Well, okay, why is that little crimp there? For flexibility, so that the cells can expand and contract. Here, look at this one. See between the cells, and the, as it heats and cools, it can expand and contract. Here we have the backs of the cells painted with a 50-50 solution of GE, silicone 2, and xylene. This is for protecting the backs of the cells against corrosion. Painting the back of the cells. Here's a panel um, where we're putting on bus, bus bars at the top. All the strings are laid out on one panel. We're taking the first measurements on the first completed panel. What are the readings here? Voltage is about 18 or so. 7, 6.27 amps. That's it for now at Factory Live.